All right, hey Taurus. So we're doing the weekly um, torn between two. All right, hey, so I always get people who view this that aren't subscribing. So I, I'm gonna be doing that thing for a while. Um, I'm gonna give away free mini readings to those of you who subscribe. All right, like the video and then go to my Facebook. Um, it's gonna be in the link down below and like my page, recommend it. Um, and the only thing I ask is if I end up giving you a, a mini reading um, because you help me out, if you can go back and then uh, leave a review um, for me on my Facebook. I don't feel like that's too much to ask. Um, mini read, 10, 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, all right? So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get these out. All right, so Taurus, torn between two people. Um, for person number one, what do they represent um, in Taurus's life? What does this person represent? What does this person represent? Go one more. There we go. What can you get out of this relationship? What problems can occur? What problems can arise between Taurus and this person? And advice. Advice for person number one. Um, advice for Taurus regarding person number one. All right, so Taurus, the person number one, what do they represent? All right, so I feel like you can see yourself. Um, so the way you look at this um, relationship is. Um, working towards something I feel like with this person you can see um, there's an end goal with this person okay I feel like ultimately you're feeling like this person um, is wish fulfillment especially on the financial spectrum all right you see progress with this person over here um, you see forward movement you can actually see you and this person um, building something together okay What can you get out of the relationship? All right. So I feel like um, right here, I feel like what it's saying is um, uh, there's not going to be a lot of this with this person. You're not going to have to defend yourself. You're not going to have to. Um, I feel like it, it. So if you've ever been with somebody in the past, all right, that you felt like you've pulled all the weight. This is this ends with this person. Okay. Um, this person is going to bring um, balance. All right, they're going to be they're going to bring balance to the situation. All right, um, wish fulfillment. So we have the nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. So I do feel like this person right here is is going to be. Um, they're going to be a form of, of energy that you've never experienced before. All right. So what problems can arise? Um, well, you're in another um, situation, all right? And I feel like potentially what you could be feeling is if you um, choose the other person and close the cycle out with this person, you could be missing out on um, quite the victory, okay? You could be missing out on somebody who is um, well-grounded, um, financially stable, financially independent. Um, they carry themselves well, they look good, you know, so you really like this energy and you feel like if you make the wrong decision, you could be potentially um, losing out on a victory, right? The general advice for person number one. Um, <laughs> all right, so you, so you're conflicted, definitely, all right? You're conflicted, five of swords, all right? And I feel like right here, you're thinking about this other person and I feel like this other person um, could potentially be um, somebody younger than you they're a page and if they're not younger than you um, they could offer a new beginning yes but I also feel like they um, might just be stringing you along to a certain degree um, 
happy. You're feeling conflicted because I feel like you you're I feel like you've invested a little bit of time into each energy. All right, and then with the um, death card coming out, I feel like your advice is regardless of, of which energy you choose to go with. Um, with every death comes a rebirth. Okay. Um, so, I, and you know what, honestly, I want to get the feel for this individual right here because I feel like you're not heavily committed to either energy. Um, I just feel that for now, but we'll see. So I want to get the attraction level over here for this person. How does Taurus feel about this person? How does Taurus feel about number one, person number one? level what they feel chemistry wise it's the it's a sexual attraction all right so over right here all right so we have codependency all right and i feel like um with this energy coming out i feel like it might be this person all right i feel like maybe this person might be a little clingy to you you know that you could have a lot with them but i feel like they might be a, a clingy type of energy all right how do you feel about them um chemistry wise i feel like it is there all right but a person can be still good looking a person can be um, um attractive and still be clingy which makes it a little bit um uncomfortable right um, and then we have the eight of swords all right so i feel like you know this is this is you and this person but you're still thinking about this person in the background which is the person over here on this side. So let's get the energy of this person. Person number two. For Taurus, what does this person, um, what do they represent? Another page. I think that's, okay, I'm not, I'm gonna show that, I'll tell you in a minute. Yeah, I feel like you, you're dealing with two of the um, similar types of energies. What can you get out of this relationship with person number two? What problems can arise? They have a lot to say. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so this person, um, I feel like... Remember how over here I said you're dealing with a page over here? Well, look at... The page came out again over here. Okay. Um, I feel like the energy over here you might be a little more attracted to than this one. That's why you don't want to um, necessarily cut. That's why you don't want to cut this person off. Okay. I feel like there's some attraction there. All right. Um, but I do feel like this person over here could be a little bit of a hothead, a little bit of a live, a live wire. All right. A little fiery. Um, and you are debating on whether you should close this cycle out. Okay. Because this person, I do feel like they're hot and cold. Okay, uh, but you know, they also make you happy, all right? This person makes you happy, but I feel like they're a little unstable and you recognize that. But I feel like there's a, a, an attraction here that makes it so that you don't wanna completely let go of this situation. So what can you get out of this relationship over here? Um, okay, so just even how I pulled these cards, look at, we have the Eight of Swords. All right, you feel bound to them, but you're not bound to them. Okay, there's nothing making you stay here with this person. All right, I feel like there is 
there's a, an attraction here on, on a sudden degree that that person's a hothead, but I almost feel like you, you, one of you guys are spying on each other a lot. You guys are keeping tabs on each other a lot, but I don't feel like, um, Taurus, I don't feel like you're committed to anybody. I don't feel like you're committed to any either energy. I don't feel like you're committed to anybody at all. Um, over here, um, you know, we have the world and then we have the wheel of fortune. And I feel like what this is saying is it's a, it's a, a double clarifier on closing out, um, um, closing out these past energies look page page all right um and you both could just be younger people but i'm not feeling that i'm feeling like there's the i feel like there's a it's not that the age difference it's like more of a maturity difference i almost feel like <laughs> what can you get out of this relationship um either turning the page on what this is getting out of the immaturity stage and moving forward and having a victory or you know you're being told to close the cycle out with this person um, and move forward to victory with this person over here. What problems can arise? So I feel like, all right. <clears throat> Look at what problems can arise. Okay, so here we are with the Ace of Cups. Okay, you you thought you had a new beginning. You you guys you. I feel like you're more attracted to this person over here. But I feel like you thought you were going to have this with them, okay? The problems that can arise is that you're still waiting for this energy to commit to you, but they're not committing, okay? You're waiting for them to commit, but they're not, all right? And what's going to happen is you're going to end up waiting for so long that you're going to miss out on both. You, you know, you have two, but you're going to be, I, I just feel like this is the energy this person's going to leave you in, all right? Single ladies mode, single guy mode. This is a single person's card. Look at these, look at this story. All right, what problems could arise? You thought you were gonna have a happy ending with this, but you're waiting for this person to commit. They're gonna leave you sad and alone. Not that this is alone, but you know, you're gonna be, you're gonna be without either energy, I feel like. Um, the general advice. Okay, so I'm gonna tell the story like this. You have the nine of wands. All right, and I feel like that's that's the this right here, the nine of wands, and this energy is blocking your, your is blocking you from your your ten of cups and your the lovers. All right, the ten of cups is the ultimate happiness and the lovers. I mean, that's like that's a, a, you know times times a hundred. Okay, but I feel like this energy is blocking you from this. Okay, I don't feel like this is the energy you're gonna get with this person. All right, I feel like the sun up here is the happiest card in the deck, but I'm not feeling that energy for this spread. I feel like this is kind of a, a manipulative um, situation right here. All right, I do feel like this person over here, I, I feel like you're just not recognizing it over here. Um, but, you know, you can flip them however you, however you need to. I, I just, this is how I'm being drawn to say it. All right, so I want to get a card over here for the what you feel like this relationship is. So what we have is, um, you're feeling like this could be the one, all right? And that's, I feel like that's why you don't let this person go. Um, it could be that this person's uh, a little more clingy or attracted to you than you are to them. I feel like that's why we got the codependency card. Um, but for some reason, Taurus, I'm feeling, I, I feel more better about this um, energy. But you you know what, if, if you're feeling like everything's lining up for you in this spread, I mean, go for it. This is just advice. It's not, this isn't, I'm not trying to make your decision for you. What is the um, chemistry between Taurus and this person? What's the chemistry? All right, so we have the hanged man, all right? So I do feel like the energy is pretty heavy there, all right? We have the king of swords. All right, and to be honest, I feel like this energy over here, I feel like this is your energy, but look at, I feel like that's this woman, not that this person's attached, but I feel like this guy has, or this girl has a couple of energies around him. I just, I don't know why, but I'm not getting the, the best feeling over here. Um, but you know, you're getting that feeling. You're you're getting the Nine of Cups feeling. Um, but I'm, I, for me personally, I just feel like this, this energy over here is a little bit, uh, 
um, unstable. Um, I just feel like it's a little unstable, and I, I don't know. I just I I don't feel good about it. I mean, I know I I am empathic, all right, but something about this energy just tells me that this person runs a little hot and cold, all right, and I feel like they can put them in the front, okay. Um, so I mean, it's like you get to pick between the guy who puts on the front and the guy who puts on the or the guy who cleans or the girl. It doesn't have to be a guy. All right, Taurus, those are the messages I'm getting. If it's not resonating, check your other signs or come back next week and we'll do another spread. All right, bye guys.